Hello guys and welcome to my next lesson on the fundamentals of CorelDRAW. We'll be talking about the tools used in CorelDRAW specifically. So alright, my last lesson I talked about the artistic media tool and the freehand tool. Talked about the functions and the uses of them. So in this lesson I'll be talking about the rectangle tool, the ellipse tool and the polygon tool respectively. Right. let's begin so these three tools they are very easy to understand and use so let's go to the rectangle tool so as name implies you to draw rectangles draw rectangles of any size that big or small so that is the use of this rectangle tool so as you can see initially this rectangle does not look perfect it looks like a rectangle but like it isn't his aspect ratio is not maintained equally. So let me say, if you want to draw a perfect rectangle, you simply hold your control and while dragging on the screen, this is now a perfect rectangle. So you can see the difference between this one and the first one. This looks more perfect, more like a square, although it's still a rectangle. And you can see this one, you can simply drag it to anyhow. You have to adjust it to get the size you want. So going to the next tool is your ellipse tool. So the ellipse is used to draw circles, circles of any size. Then you, if you come to this to up part, you have different options. You can draw a pie-shaped circle. So as you can see, the shape has changed. It's not like a pie. And you can draw an arc. So the circle is not like an arc. So these are like other options that CorelDRAW still puts under some tools. Because CorelDRAW is very nice and broad and easy to understand if you put your mind to it. So going to the next tool is the polygon tool. So this is used to draw polygons. So polygons, you know, they are shapes ranging from the triangle to the number of the highest number of shapes, which is circle. Circle with an infinite number of shapes. So I can start with this one this here now is a pentagon with five sides so you can come here it's give me an option to reduce it I can reduce the number of sides to three giving it giving me a rectangle a triangle sorry and i can increase the number of sides to any number i want see now it now looks like a circle so that is the use of this polygon tool so if i click on this drop down i have i'll have other options like the star tool I need to draw a star. I can come here and change the number of sides of the star I want. I'm going to the next one. You have the spiral tool. Just is to draw a spiral shape. As name implies, spiral. Like I said, this is very easy to understand. And you have common shapes, which are the shapes that you usually know. See so this one. This is the arrow shape. So I have different kinds of shape can come here I can even increase the outline of shapes I want can come here can choose any shape I want so you can see curl draw puts different kinds of shapes for you to use your designing so like this one I love the shape Thunderbolt this is very nice so this come to the end of this lesson guys if you enjoyed this video please do like subscribe and share to people who are in need of this free course so thank you for watching this video